My name is Drifty J. I've played basketball my entire life. I've put my blood, sweat, and tears into this game. I've gained almost over 2 million followers across all platforms, and I'm very thankful for that. This is my road to college basketball. Let's make history. Everybody looks at me as just like a YouTuber. But little they know, like, I play basketball my whole life. Hey, little nigga! Like, as people see me really putting the work in and uh, my game coming together, like, it's gonna be more than just funny games. Like, I'm really coming to take people's spots. All right, y'all, so look, I just pulled up right now uh, to my new fitness trainer's gym right now, so it's gonna be my first time meeting them too. Um, hey, we're trying to get big, bro, but when we get in there, straight business, about to go crazy, about to get the gains, about to get my bounce up, bro, so I can be dunking on y'all pools, bro. So let's get it. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. Nice Tommy. to meet you. Jay. Nice to meet you. So we're gonna be jumping on the force plates today. We'll get some like- My name's Tommy Kalania. I'm a performance physical therapist and strength conditioning specialist. But what we do here is we combine rehab, uh, strength conditioning and sports science principles to just get down to a grassroots level of what an athlete needs. So then we're covering all bases of their programming so that they're at the top of their game, basically. Any issues? No, but I can tell you that's where the, uh, like right in this area is where the pain, like initial pain was from. So that little lump is pretty much what that is. At this point, I wouldn't expect there to be any like pinpoint tenderness. Mm -hmm. I always double check though, because especially if you're hooping, you just load sensitive joints a little differently. Right. Um, after an ankle roll, you can start to get some tenderness through here. Have you experienced anything like that? Um, on the other side, I can say from like a shock pain from like weird, like from like here, and it'll like come across like around the foot, like in this area. All good, nothing there. Cool. Okay, I'm pretty stoked with that actually. Um, that's just a quick check, just to make okay. sure everything's flying. We just need to get your ankle stronger. Okay. Go ahead, pop your shoes on. Cool. We did do it. For two more of those. Last one. What's your main goal trying to play basketball again? Um, my main goal is trying to play basketball again. I would say is just to show the kids, you know, that you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it, no matter how old, no matter how young you are, like if you have dreams to be, um, to be somebody special, you know, like you can do it and yeah, to not worry about what the haters say. You know, people are always gonna say stuff behind your back, maybe in your face, but you gotta look past that. And my biggest goal is just like, Getting to the, getting to where I want to go, and going at my own pace. Like you know, it's not a, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So that's all I gotta say. Go, big kick, big kick. Go, 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 go. Higher, higher, higher. And relax. All of these are just a baseline number. We do yeah. tests of three. That's a crazy high number. Yeah. So one, you're probably a strong dude, but then two, it's to make sure that we get correct readings. Go. Big kick, big kick, big kick. Go, 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 and relax. Like, I couldn't dunk at all, like, in high school until, like, my end of my year, but I was always doing, like, plyometrics and stuff. So, like, that's where, like, some of the leg power and stuff comes from. I was always doing that. 18 on the plates is usually, like, a standard. Like, we got to get you to 18 minimum. Yeah. But you're already starting at damn near 20. Yeah. So you're bouncy. Yeah. But we can still work on a couple of things. And I honestly think it's just clean up that ankle, clean up that hip, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, that's all it is. All right, so based off of today, we have a couple of things that we're gonna be focusing on early on. Um, joint health and tendon health are our priority as a hooper. So he's gonna be working on some ankle mobility and Achilles prep, some hip mobility and patellic tendon prep. Um, and then from there, it's building up a basic strength program that matches what he needs from what we found today um, to get it right on the court. Well, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, man. So I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Crazy workout. Um, wasn't even really a workout, but it was. That was like an evaluation process. So I'd say right now, um, your boy really about to get big. I ain't gonna lie. That's my guy, bro. I, I already, I ain't gonna lie. From the stuff we've seen today, I feel like you gonna get me right. We're about to actually see it. The next thing we're about to do is probably work out with Barry and then uh, get some recovery, figure out what, uh, what's going on. We got some updates for y'all, so we're gonna see. Now. 
everybody looks at me as just like a YouTuber, but little do they know, like I played basketball my whole life and um, COVID is really what stopped everything because I actually had like some schools I had in mind of going to. So I think that's gonna be the biggest obstacle is just like having everybody take me serious. So I feel like once they see that, as they, I feel like as people see me really putting the work in in uh, my game coming together, like it's gonna be more than just fun and games. Like I'm really coming to take people's spots and um, we're gonna see how that goes. Like as people see me really putting the work in in uh, my game coming together, like it's gonna be more than just funny games. Like I'm really coming to take people's spots. Yeah, and I'm just looking forward to change that narrative from all funny games to like real seriousness. Ooh wee. Part two, workout with Barry right here, man. Got to get right. I ain't gonna lie, ankle kind of hurts, but that's fine. What my what's my shirt say? What to what? But he can't read. Wait, <laughs> what does that say? What to you is what your ones look like. What but your ones look like. Space. It's what your ones look like. <laughs> hey yo, what your ones look like? We gonna see today, bro. I want it. I need that. Hashtag need that. Hashtag smell that. Hashtag lick that. Hey, come on. All right, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're watching some Shea Gilders, um, SGA, and the focus is his angles, like him attacking, staying on his line, not allowing anybody to push him off his line, and then how he reads those angles to get to his finishes or to get to his mid-range jump shots or whatever it may be. I really want y'all to see though, for real, when we're watching, is like, Shea, everybody talks about Shea's bumps, but he's really not, like, Shea is no bigger than you, Jay. He's literally your size, actually. So the reason why everybody talks about him bumping and playing so physical is because he just won't let nobody push him off his angle. It's not about how strong he is. How strong he is allows him to stay on that line, but it's more his mentality of just keeping that straight line angle. That's something that, like, you started doing now a lot more because you're finally noticing your size. Yeah. But if you can get better at really focusing on attacking those angles through bumps like here, like he not going around that nigga, bro. He's straight through his, straight through his shoulder. If his shoulder's in the way, I'm straight through. Like that makes all the difference. So that's just what I want you guys to focus on when we're watching these clips. And he don't even be looking like he's that strong, but I feel like he's hella strong. Like but he doesn't strong. look hella buff, your, but he's, he's hella your, strong. Bro, I promise you, he's your strength. You're but. just as strong. It's all about the mentality. If you know how to use angles, angles beat everything. The primary focus of today's workout is going to be angles, all right, making sure that they stay online within their angles no matter if a bump comes or not. No matter if a shoulder's in the way, whatever it may be, just making sure he can play through that contact um, and stay straight line so he can get in the paint, force to whatever it may be in that game-like situation, but that's going to be um, the detailed emphasis. We're going to do a lot of things within that. Finishes, uh, mid ranges, focus on pickups, uh, change of speed, change of pace, all of that will be incorporated. Um, but the most important thing for today is going to be those angles. As I progress and keep working with Barry, I know I'm going to be the best version of myself, and I'm really just trying to lock in and uh, like figure out what I need to work on with Barry. So. As you guys see in each episode, I'm gonna turn into a whole new player. So I'm real excited for that. Oh. Damn, that is high. Oh. Dude, I would say right now, I don't really model my game after anybody like special. I take pieces uh, like of certain players, but I could say like I like certain players' games like. Jay Poole, uh, like the shiftiness, I like 
D'Lo. Uh, there's a bunch of different guys, like specific guys that I like kind of try to model my game after in a way. Oh, that shit hurts bad. Yeah, it hurts. Shit, crazy. Oh. oh my God. Yeah. To slide, bro. Bro, this is crazy. I'm fried, bro. My foot is cooked. I'm gonna try to put this on there. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never had to do this for anything, bro. Holy shit. This shit is fried, bro. Look, I don't think I'd even be able to hoop later. This shit is sad. This is crazy. This is damn near OD. I've been hurt since August, bruh. 